Hello everyone, Elise Lightyear here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into it because today I have some very exciting news for you guys. Are you ready? My group trip is finally happening! You remember just a few weeks ago, I asked you guys to fill out a survey to see where you were interested in traveling with me. First of all, thank you all so much for filling out the survey. Well, the results for this survey have spoken and overwhelmingly, you guys have chosen to go on a group trip to China! <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna get you all the way here to China and we're only gonna visit Beijing. No, no, no. We are going to two different cities, Beijing and the historical, beautiful city of Xi'an. So let me break it all down and let's dive into the details. First off, let's talk about the dates. When is this group trip to China happening? The trip is happening in August, summer 2024. To be specific, the dates will be August 19th until August 26th. That's eight whole days and seven whole nights in China. I have an amazing itinerary planned. I think it is the perfect blend of historical China, modern China, and delicious China. I'm gonna tell you the day-to-day -day plan. So picture this, it's day one, August 19th, you're fresh off the plane from the airport, you've got provided transportation to your four-star hotel where you relax, freshen up, and get ready to meet yours truly because the first thing we're doing is having a welcome dinner. Then after the welcome dinner, I am taking you on a self-guided hutong bar crawl. Hutongs are traditional alley style neighborhoods in Beijing. I'm gonna take you to all of the places where we are gonna get it popping with a few drinks. Day two, we're started off with breakfast at the hotel and then we are headed to the very famous Tiananmen Square. From Tiananmen Square, we're gonna head across the street to Forbidden City, to the amazing Forbidden City, which is a massive imperial palace where Chinese emperors ruled for hundreds of years. Next up, we are going to head to a local family's home where they are gonna teach us how to make authentic Chinese dumplings. And then we get to eat them. No, 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 no. Day three. We are going to the most famous place in all of Asia. You already know what it is. The Great Wall of China! We are going to the Mu Tang Yu section of the Great Wall, which is stunning. After the Great Wall, you're gonna be tired. So the rest of the day is yours to do whatever you'd like. But because I am who I am, I have something special planned, and that is an evening food tour where you're going to get to taste lots of different Chinese cuisines. We all know Chinese food is very diverse, but because on this trip we're only going to Beijing and Xi'an, I want to introduce you to lots of incredible regional Chinese food. Food from Yunnan province, food from Sichuan province, food from Guangdong province, food from all over the country, so you can truly get a taste of China. Day four! Together we are hopping on a high-speed train and hightailing it to Xi'an. This is another free day. You can do whatever your heart desires or you can hang out with me and explore the Elise Lightyear way. That means we're getting on some bikes, we're getting on the subway, we're getting on the bus, and we're finding what we can find. We're taking cute photos for the gram. Day five, wake up, we're so excited. It's a new day in a new city. We're in Xi'an, what are we gonna do? We are going to the iconic Xi'an ancient wall. So. Back in the day of the ancient times, there was a gigantic wall built around the old city of Xi'an. And that wall is the most well-preserved ancient city wall in all of China. Then we have a meal together and then the rest of the day is all up to you, whatever you want to do. Day six. No visit to Xi'an or China is complete if you do not go see the terracotta warriors. 
obviously this is known as one of the greatest archaeological sites in the history of the world and no doubt that this is going to blow our minds. Day seven starts off with an optional activity, meaning you don't have to do it, but I recommend that you do because it is a street food tour in Xi'an's famous Muslim quarter. It's perfect for the foodie and it's perfect for the people who want to know what real authentic life is like in Xi'an because you will get to see all of it right there. And because this is our last evening together, I will send you off with a big hug at our lovely farewell dinner. Day eight. I don't know if eight is this way or this way. You get a transfer to the Xi'an airport where you head off to your next destination and we say Zaijian. So that's it. That's the full eight day itinerary happening August 19th to August 26th, all outlined for you. If you want to see it in written form, all you have to do is click the link in the description below and it will take you to my trip page that will outline everything in much greater detail. So let me explain just what is included in the trip and what is not included. So for this eight day long trip, we're visiting two cities. We're doing seven activities with one optional activity. You will get seven breakfasts, three lunches, and three dinners. Ground transportation, including airport transfers coming and going from Beijing and Xi'an, plus all of your accommodations for seven nights in two different four-star hotels. And remember, we have a local language guide the entire time we are in China. The things that are not included in the total price are the international flight, as well as any extra meals or any alcohol that's not specifically listed on the itinerary, as well as tips and gratuity. Okay, okay, we're almost at the end, so let's talk money, honey. I know you want to know the price. So the basic price for all of my early birds out there who want to get this trip the day that it drops as soon as possible, you guys are going to get a special discount of $200 off, making the total price $1,700. And for the people who book after the early bird is sold out, that price is $1,900 total. And the best part is when you book the trip, you only need to put 25% down as the deposit. Also, the second best thing about it is that you can do a payment plan if that's what you're interested in. There is definitely the option to pay smaller increments month to month, making this trip perfect. Oh, and one more thing. Of course, you need a tourist visa in order to come over to China. And the company that I'm working with, Trova Trip, also partners with a company called Sherpas, and they can help you with the visa process, making it oh so simple for you guys. Honestly, you guys, I am so excited for this trip to happen. I cannot wait to connect with all of you beautiful souls in real life. So if you have any questions, concerns, anything, drop a comment below. On Instagram, I've been posting about this trip like crazy. I did a QA there. So check out my Instagram or send me a DM there. Click the link below to read the itinerary. Click the link below to see all of the things. We're gonna have so much fun together. It's gonna be an unforgettable trip. So sign up. Yes, 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 yes. All right, you know what it is. Elise Lightyear, over.